section 6, powers of 10. Remember that we talked about anything <coughs> to the zero power is 1. As long as the anything, in this case 10, is not 0. But 10 is not 0. 10 is 10. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 squared, that means 10 times 10 is 100. 10 cubed, well, that's 10 squared times 10. It's 100 times 10, which is 1,000. Somebody asked me to do 10 to the 4th. I would do 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Possibly I would do 100 times 100. Or, I just learned what 10 cubed is. It's the line above. It's 1,000 times 10. Nonetheless, it's 10,000. 10 to the 4th is 10,000. Now, let's see if we can get these answers a bit more quickly. I notice every number, excuse me, every answer has a 1 followed by some zeros. We have zeros after the 1. We have a 1 and then zeros. Well, in 10 to the 0, you have a 1 and you have zero zeros. The next one, 10 to the 1, you have a 1 followed by one zero. <coughs> in 10 squared, you have your 1 followed by two zeros. 10 to the third power, you have your 1 and three zeros. 10 to the fourth, you have your 1 followed by four zeros. It is true that this pattern will continue. If you have 10 to the fifth, why that's a 1 followed by 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Somebody asks you what 10 to the 11 is, you can say, well, I can write it down. It's 1 followed by 11 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. These are ones, these are thousands, these are millions, these are billions. You have 100 billion. That's what 10 to the 11 is. So you're, you should be an expert at writing down 10 to any power, to an integer power. Just write down one and whatever that integer power is, write down that number of zero. Positive integer. Now, let's talk about multiplying by power of the 10. Let's multiply 7 by a power of 10. What power of 10 is that? Well, it's, it's 10 to the 2 0. 10 squared. You have to have a 1. Somebody asks you, well, write this number as a power of 10. You say, oh, yeah, yeah. That's a 1. So it's 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 10 to the 4. You have 1 followed by 6 zeros. So I guess it's a million. It'll be 10 to the 6. 6 corresponds to the 6 zero. Somebody asks you to write down this number as a power of 10. Well, first, I don't think you have to count each individual zero. You can go 3, 6, 9, 12. They came in groups of 3. You don't have to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you did, fine, you still get 10 to the 12. Now, back to multiplication. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 1 is 7. Now, let's look at this more carefully. We wanted to do 100 times 7. Uh, the reason we have two zeros is because 7 times those two zeros were two zeros. And how did you get to 7? By just doing 7 times 1. If you just go 1 times 7 is 7, and I'm going to add on 
is 0, which is right here. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. It's a much easier way of doing this is to say, well, 8 times 1 is 8. And I'll add on the 4 zero. You don't want to do multiplication. You know, multiply by powers of 10. In fact, you even have to be a power. It's going to be a multiple of a power of 10. It's going to be 8 times the power of 10. 8 times 100. 800. You want to multiply this by 7? Well, I claim that you can just multiply 8 times 7, get your answer, and then add on 2 zeros. And there's the 2 zeros again. 7 times 0, 7 times the second zero, 0. 7 times 8, 56. If you wanted to do, say, 600 times 5, well, the easier way of doing this is to say, well, 5 times 6 is 30. Couldn't care less the number I said had a 0. Couldn't care less. I'm going to add on two zeros. Don't ask me why. I, well, I know why I wrote two zeros, because I said that. I'm going to add on my two zeros. The 6 times 5, that gave us the 30, and then the 2 0. 3 0, 0, 0 3,000. And again, there, those two, the 2 zeros from the 600 coming from here. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. There's the 2 0. Stop bothering to do that. This would be 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30 with 2 0. What if both numbers have zeros at the end? What if you have 700 times, say, 8,000? 7 times 8 is 56, and then you add two zeros and three more zeros. There's your two zeros, and here's your three more zeros. 5 million. 600,000. You want it to do it a long way, 8,000 times 700. Well, zero times this zero times each of these four numbers will be zero, four digits. And then zero times each of these four digits will be all zeros. And then two spaces. Why two spaces? With those two zeros. Okay, now, I didn't finish it, but when you add, you're going to get the two zero from the 700. Now you do 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0. That's where you get the next three zeros, the 3 from the 8,000. And then 7 times 8, and then 2 put it up here, I'm so sorry. Oh, I did put it, excuse me. And then the next number, 7 times 8, is 56. When you add these, when you add these numbers, you get that. 5, 0. 3 from the top, 2 from the bottom. You have 324 and then some zeros. We're going to multiply it by 72 and some zeros. Well, whatever this is going to be, it's going to have four and have seven zeros at the end, at least seven. And then you have to multiply 324 by 72. 
2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. Indent. 7 times the 4 is 28, carry the 2. 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 2 is 16, carry the 1. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1, 22. And you're going to get 2, 3, 3, 2, 8. That's what goes in front. 2, 3, 3, 2, 8. The ones, the ones, the millions, the billions. 233 billion, 280 million. And that's it. Three decimal number. Just multiply those two numbers. And then add on four zeros and two zeros for a total of seven zeros. Multiplying numbers that end in a string or zero are easy. Just kind of do the multiplication without those zeros and then tag them on at the end. You have to do three one zero oh, zero oh, zero. Oh. You want to multiply it by 7,000. But basically, I would ignore those zeros for the multiplication. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. And then I would say there was 3 zeros here and 3 zeros here. So I add 6 zeros. 3 and then another 3. 217 million. You have to do two two one zero zero five seven three zero. Oh. I know. Well, I would ignore the last zero at the end. There are three of them. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times two is still six. Then I multiply this in there. Then I multiply the seven by the one. I get seven. The 7 by the 2 is 14, so we that carry 1. The 7 by the 2 is 14, plus the 1 is 15. And I get 3, 13, 11, 6, 1, with 3 zeros at the end. 1, 2, 3. 16 million, 133,000. Ignore the zeros. Ignore the zeros. You have to do 350 times 100. Ignore the zeros for right now. 1 times 35, you should know. Now, don't ignore the zeros. There are three of them. 1, 2, 3. Tag them on. 35,000. That actually completes the section on powers of 10.